Hi there, I'm Camilla Campuzano, the community manager of Montessori Thrive and Nido Marketing. And every week I make videos to help school leaders market their school, grow their enrollment, and find a sense of support when it comes to leading their schools. This week, I'm gonna be sharing three quick and easy tips to improve your school website and to help you grow your enrollment. Now, these tips are things that you can quickly apply to your website in order to access um, the right parents, target them, be able to nurture them into enrollment, uh, be able to inform them about the unique benefits of Montessori, et cetera. Now, these tips are certainly things that you can do on your website. They're not things that you need to do, but they're just ways to improve your overall website experience and to ultimately help you grow your enrollment. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first and foremost, the number one way to improve your overall website, and this is from an experience point of view, is to include automations that run throughout your website. A great way to do this is to have a CRM that works 24 seven behind the scenes in order to back these automations. A CRM is a client relationship manager, and it's just gonna help you keep track of all of the contacts that are coming in through your school website. This is gonna be important and valuable when it comes time for you to touch base with these people who are showing interest in your school and in your programs. And it's important to add automations because it makes things so much easier for the website visitor. And this is important nowadays because people are used to very high-end websites. They're used to a very immediate uh, response. They're used to that um, overall level of professionalism when it comes to any website. So the same will apply for your school website. So it's important to have automations that run throughout your website. One that you ought that you really should be including is the automated tour scheduling. The reason why is because it's not, um, it's just not acceptable anymore to just simply have your phone number um, and, oh, call us for a tour because that's limited within certain business hours that might not be accessible to all parents. It's another barrier of entry for families who might be busy, who might want to do things on their own schedule. So having the schedule a tour button available on your school website is going to transform your entire admissions process. It's going to help you get people further down in the admissions funnel. It's going to help you um, make conversions. It's going to help you collect important contact information. So it's important to have the schedule a tour automation on your website. Now, the great thing about having this automation is you can schedule it based on your availability. So only make, um, you know, only make appointments available if you're able to actually conduct them on your own terms. So it's helpful because parents can see at a glance what their options are for scheduling a tour. Uh, another way that automations can really transform your website is by using email nurtures. So when you're using automation to start your website, you're including forms throughout your website. Um, you can collect that important contact information such as a parent's name and email address. You can then send them check-in emails, update them about open houses, encourage them to schedule a tour, et cetera. This is gonna transform your Montessori marketing. Um, also, as I mentioned earlier, automations just transform that overall experience on your Montessori school website. It's important to have automations because honestly, nowadays it's just the expectation. So if you're missing out on these automations on your website, you're really missing out on quality leads. So here's just a little example of what it looks like to have automations on your website. So you can see here is our homepage on our neatosite.com, our sample school website. And you can see here a schedule a tour button. It's very easy for parents to use these automations. All they would have to do is click here, select a date and time that works for them, just like that, and then fill in their information. They will automatically receive a confirmation email once they click that book my tour. In exchange, you got a little bit of information about them. You know what programs are interested in. You have an opportunity to see if they have any questions or comments, and you've got their email address. So you can send follow-up emails, check-in emails, um, and email nurtures to the parents directly. Now, having automations on your website is truly going to transform not only the parent experience, but your experience as a school administrator and anyone who oversees the admissions process. It's gonna make things so much easier. You're gonna be able to look at those contacts through a glance, and you're going to get notified every time you get a new tour. This has transformed the admissions process for so many schools that we've worked with. So we know that having automations on your website can really be transformative to your overall Montessori marketing strategy. All right, so the second thing that's going to help you transform your Montessori school website is adding a blog. And we like to say this is quick and easy because it really can be if you do it properly. And if you schedule your content, you're purposeful with your content and you, of course, repurpose your content. But having great content on your website is so important and so valuable. In digital marketing and in really any marketing, copywriting or creating content is so important. 
Um, we really know the value of powerful and informative content. So it's important to have a section on your website dedicated to this. And this is where a blog comes in and can be so great. It will help you educate new and current families. So think of your website as your main space to help families understand not only your mission, but what Montessori has to offer, the benefits of Montessori, and how they can implement Montessori in their homes so that they can see the full transformation of their children and their home life and their children's educational life as well. So it's important to include a blog that is informative, that's easily digestible for parents. So while you're using Montessori language, it's something that can be new and approachable for families to understand. Um, and it will ultimately help you become a thought leader in the Montessori space. Now, the reason this is so valuable is that it builds trust and it makes your school look so much further above the rest because parents and families are coming to your school website, exploring your blog and learning about Montessori directly from you. This is so transformative to your Montessori marketing strategy because when you become a thought leader, automatically you become an authority of Montessori to these parents, to these prospective families, and it definitely sends you over the edge um, when it comes to that decision-making process. And they're definitely going to go with you over a school who doesn't have a blog or doesn't have parent education resources available to them whenever they need. It's also just a great way to get seen. You can share your blogs on social media. You can um, share them in your newsletters. If you send out monthly or weekly newsletters at your school, it's just great to be producing this content. Now it's important to have a schedule when it comes to content. So whether you're posting a blog every week or once a month, just stay consistent and make sure you're refreshing your content regularly. As I said, you can repurpose your content. Maybe every three years you can recycle the same blogs, just change up the pictures a little bit, um, update it ever so slightly and you can recycle them. So it creates less work for you over time, but still it's gonna help you um, over and over again uh, with new prospective families and with current families. It's also going to help with your SEO because SEO is all about great content, new and refreshed content, and using those keywords in your content as well. So whenever you're using, uh, when you're uh, creating new content on your website regularly, Google will take that into account. Search engines will take that into account um, and they will start to understand what you're doing. They'll build trust with your website. Um, they'll know that you're producing content that people want to see, um, and that will help your overall SEO strategy and effort. So it's important to have a great school website. All right, so I'm quickly going to show you the blog section of our Neato site website. So you can see here in the navigation bar, we have our blog. Our blog is a great resource for Montessori parents who want to learn more about Montessori and Montessori parenting. You have the search option so the parents can type in primary or planes of development or just search terms that they want and they'll be able to see a relevant blog. And here you can see just some of our blogs. It's important to add pictures, make the blog um, very intriguing to families, offer great valuable information. You can click to see the sample here, the role of the Montessori teacher. You see our text is broken up by titles. Um, they're not necessarily really lengthy, but they're informative, they're to the point, and they offer an answer to a question a parent may have. So that's basically what you want to think about when it comes to creating a great school blog. It's something that we certainly recommend all Montessori schools um, try to have on their school website. All right, so last but not least, another thing we like to include in Montessori websites, and this is another easy thing to add, is lead generators. Now, if you haven't already learned a little bit more about what lead generators are, we have an earlier video on this. I highly recommend watching. It's really helpful to help you understand what lead generators are and which ones you can include on your Montessori school website. But ultimately, lead generators are going to help you capture important contact information, such as a parent's email address, so that then you can go in, you can use your email marketing skills, you can send email nurtures, you can check in with them and stay top of mind. It's important to have lead generators on your website as a way to gather this important lead information so that you can help them down the admissions funnel so they ultimately will be enrolled in your school. Um, it's a great way to get parents in that admissions funnel because you know that they're interested. They want to learn more about Montessori, whether they're curious about your programs, whether they're looking to schedule a tour, whether they just want to know more about Montessori, you know that you've captured their interests enough for them to request something of value that you have to offer. Uh, the most important thing to keep in mind when it comes to lead generators is immediate value. Keyword immediate. So when a parent fills in a lead generator, such as a quiz, they want to see a special form, they want detailed, a detailed PDF of program information, or even your tuition information, you have to offer that value immediately. This is why lead generators and automations go hand in hand. 
So you really need them both for this to work properly. So basically a parent will see something like this picture here where, oh, is Montessori right for your child? Take our short quiz to find out. They take the short quiz, they have fun doing it, um, and then they can see if Montessori is right for them. I'll show you a couple of other examples we have on our Montessori Neato site, our sample site of a lead generator. It's great because it helps to build trust. It's another way for you to establish yourself as a thought leader because you're offering something of value to that parent's email. Um, it's a little bit more intimate than just them engaging on your website because you know that um, they were purposeful enough to send you their contact information. So they want to hear from you. It also encourages engagement on your website. It helps them explore. It helps them click around, learn more about Montessori, learn more about your community specifically. So there's a huge amount of value in including a few lead generators in your website. It certainly doesn't hurt. And we have seen it produce some really great quality leads. So I highly recommend including a few fun lead generators on your Montessori school website. All right, so here's just an example of that quiz pop-up. It's really fun. Um, having pop-ups like this can be, you know, just a way for parents to interact with your overall school website. They can take that short quiz. Um, it's just fun to include. It doesn't hurt. Um, then I'll go here on our homepage. I'll show you another lead generator we've included on our sample website. So if you scroll down to the, towards the bottom of our um, homepage, um, you'll see here a fun little lead generator that we've included. Montessori or conventional, what's best for your family? Read the white paper. In order to um, receive that white paper, a parent would have to put in their first name, put in their email address, click this button, and they will automatically receive an email with that white paper so they can read through it. They can learn about what's right for their family. And you've got their email information so you can follow up with an email saying, oh, I saw that you were interested in a white paper. I hope you found some interest in Montessori. We would love for you to come in for a tour so you can see for yourself what Montessori looks like, you know, in real life, in person, and ask us any questions face to face. So it's important to have these lead generators in there. You know, you can have some fun, some creative ones. It's up to you. If you're a Montessori Thrive member, um, that's our uh, community website. We have a bunch of lead generators that you can download and use on your website. So I recommend taking a look through there. That's linked in the description below, Montessori Thrive. I highly recommend taking a look at uh, the lead generators we have available there. But ultimately, these three tips are going to help you when it comes to helping families um, get further down the admissions funnel. It's going to help you grow your enrollment, and it's going to help make your Montessori experience, uh, your Montessori website experience, so much better. I hope you found those three website tips easy. I hope you start implementing them to your school website as well. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. I'm happy to answer any Montessori marketing or leadership questions. We love to hear them. If you also have any ideas on what's worked for your Montessori school website, we love to hear those as well. Feel free to comment that. I'll be back next week with another Montessori marketing and leadership video. Until then, take care and have a great week.